Well, good morning to you. Good morning. Today, what's today? Friday, 1st of September 2023. And we've got visitors. That's nice, isn't it? Having visitors first thing in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes if you come out here before it's light, it's a little bit crunchy. But there we are. Um, right, what is this thing? It's not a golf stick. No, this is one of the brackets that I took from the charrette. And working on things when you when you handle things and as you clean them you begin to understand how it was made it's got besides that bent over and twisted bit there it's got a slight twist in it which it's supposed to have so that it fits nicely into the bracket, into the charrette. And as we look at it, we can see little marks. And you think, what happened there? Well, of course what happened there is when whatever sort of blacksmith, Forgeron, or Maréchal de Fer, uh, was working on this, he would have been popping this in and out of the forge, getting it nice and hot. And then he would have been knocking it about with a hammer over the edge of an anvil or whatever. And got little marks where he's put it over the edge of whatever he was bending it around. And there's also, you can see, odd little dinks along the edge where presumably he was setting that angle. And we can think about this man. I don't know when he would have made this. We'll, we'll say 1900. It could have been 1890. It could have been 1910. I don't know. We'll say 1900. But we can imagine a man working in a forge... And some of you will have stood and watched blacksmiths working in forges. Some of you haven't had that opportunity. But we can imagine a man with a big right arm and a fairly big but not so big left arm wearing a leather apron, standing in front of a forge perhaps with an apprentice pulling the bellows to keep the, the coke nice and hot. And he would have been pushing pieces of metal into the, into the forge, letting it get hot, watching it change colour. And a good blacksmith, and I'm, I'm talking about things I've seen, I am not a blacksmith, but he will know the right colour for when you pull that metal out of the fire and push it over a, an anvil and hit it with your hammer. He will know that you know you warm the hammers up in front of the forge. You don't want to be hitting red hot metal with cold hammers. Strange things happen. You can actually break a hammer doing that. You know, if you've got a really cold hammer and you you belt a very very hot bit of metal it it can do some very interesting things and chunks of hammer fly about which is never good but we we can imagine that man working eight hours a day on a good day 12 hours maybe 16 hours making things like this but there we are the weather forecast 
I'm looking at the sky and this isn't what the weather forecast said. According to the weather forecast I've got no chance of getting anything done up here. Uh, yeah there are clouds about. So my sort of plan is it's going to be an indoor day today. It's not as if I've got nothing to do. Look at all the quints on that tree. <laughs> 